Good morning from a very chilly Fort Worth, Texas. It could be worse. It could be raining. Thankfully, the rain has stopped. So even though we're all bundled up, it should be a fun day today at the stockyards. Our goals for today are to see the cattle drive and hopefully to have a steak. We'll see how busy it is. Since it is New Year's Day today in Fort Worth, well, it's New Year's Day today everywhere, I guess, except for it might already be January 2nd. Is it already January 2nd in Australia or something? Annie, do you know? I think it might be in Australia. All right, so happy belated New Year to all of the people down under. But for the rest of us, happy New Year, and we will see you at the stockyards. The exit from the KOA here, which I believe it's not technically in Fort Worth. I think it's Arlington is the name of the town. Um, it's a little bit awkward. You can't make a left, although you wouldn't want to because it's a heavily trafficked road. If you had a really big rig, you might have some issues getting out of here. Just beware. Like right now, our GPS is telling us to make a U-turn here and we're going to because we're not towing, but if we were towing, we'd just be taking our chances and continue straight. Seven bucks for the day, not too bad. And I'm not sure if this is normal or if it's because it's New Year's Day, but at least on this side, we seem to be just about the only people here. Feels a little bit like Wally World, like it might be closed, but we know it's not closed, but that's how it feels. Well, it's open, but it's super quiet. Couldn't eat it all, so there's some leftovers. 
for the puppies. <laughs> Mark, what's your expression when you eat the cake? <laughs> wow, that was that was a different expression. Like a horse? <laughs> no? We just had an excellent day at the Fort Worth Stockyards. It was freezing cold. It was like being home in the Northeast or something. Uh, we were bundled up. You could see hat, scarf. We bought gloves yesterday, thankfully. Annie bought a wool cowboy hat today. Allie. <laughs> we could not convince Mark to buy a cowboy hat. I just think it's just a touch too American for him. We found the perfect hat. It was like totally his style. Yeah. And it was his size. He just kept saying, no, no, no. Maybe if we found a bowler hat, he would have gotten it. Would you have got a bowler hat, honey? No, all right, he's just not a hat person. We had an awesome lunch, we saw a steer, we saw cowboys, it was just fantastic. So it's a bit touristy, a bit, you know, a teeny bit cheesy, but if you're only gonna be in Texas for a short while, or like you're like us and you're coming to Fort Worth, I would say it's an awesome place to visit. Uh, we're gonna head downtown now. It's kind of late and it's drizzling, so we're not sure if we're gonna stick around, but we figured we'd take a ride and see what it looks like, and if there's anything cool, we'll get out. Although it looked beautiful, buildings looked beautiful. There were lots of nice shops and restaurants, but we're just too cold and we've been walking around all day. Also, because it is New Year's Day, it looks like a decent number of the shops were closed. So we didn't really know how 
much it would be worth braving the cold and the drizzle to walk around a bunch of closed businesses. But if we ever come back, we'll definitely head over there. tried Jack in the Box. The bad news is I forgot to bring my camera, so I have no video of it to show you. What I will say is that we all really enjoyed it, and we're all really sad that where we live, there's pretty much only McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's, the main fast food places that we don't have Whataburger. We don't have Jack in the Box because we feel like they're both way better than your standard McDonald's burger. Tomorrow we drive to Memphis to cross off one of my major bucket list items, which is to go to Graceland. I've been a huge Elvis fan since I was maybe 10 years old. And I've always wanted to go to Graceland, but nobody else I know is a big Elvis fan, so I never thought I'd get to go because I wasn't probably gonna go on my own. But we're heading home through Memphis, and so we're stopping there, and I'm super excited. I also wanna stop and see the Mississippi River. We saw it in New Orleans, and we crossed over it, but I would like to see it up close. Um, well, we saw it up close. But I believe there's a park in Memphis that kind of runs right along it, so I hope to see that. We also are excited about seeing the giant pyramid-shaped Bass Pro Shop. And maybe some barbecue, maybe some music, but I think due to what's going on, a lot of the music places are shut. shut. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm really excited about... <laughs> We're really excited. I'm really excited about going to Memphis. Another long travel day tomorrow, not quite as long as some of our other days, but it's gonna be at least seven hours, probably more like nine. We hope to stay at the Graceland RV Park, which is within walking distance of Graceland, which would be so amazing. I could just walk over there whenever I want and be like, hey there, King. You know, whenever I feel like it. Till then, till tomorrow, signing off from Fort Worth, where we had a great day. Good night.